the Rode Wireless Pro. The on and off, left button, right button, pressing both at the same time. If I hit the on button, a short press, nothing. Long press, nothing. I can simply slip it into the case and it'll go to charging USB connected. As you can see, charging. Pull it out, the unit turns on. I'm going to take a USB C cable, plug it in. I don't know if I'm charging because I don't see anything, but there is battery life pulling out. The port can be plugged into the computer. Something is happening. We hit the area over here and we have a diagnostics. The diagnostic says I have all my devices ready and I don't have. If you say you don't have, it's going to tell you to come back. So you go back, you just hit, I have all my devices. Please connect the Rode wireless device from your computer. Disconnect. It's telling you to connect either the receiver or transmitter. Well, we're working on the receiver. It acknowledges the firmware and begin the test. It does a firmware integrity. So it says, hey, I got one, three, whatever. Then it does a test for memory and setting. Now it's asking you for the on and off. Well, I know it don't work, but the computer wants to know if it works or not. Press immediately and release the power button of your receiver. And that arrow would move if it acknowledged. So you have to come here, go, not working. I'm pressing, but nothing is happening. So I'll do it again. Nice and firm, digging my fingernails into it. Still nothing. Press immediately release the left button. Watch the arrow go to the right and do it again. Device one, pro. It does all three tests. Connect another or you finish the testing. I'm finished. Device one, power button not detected. Didn't I say that? Close. Reopen up the device. Go to settings. You can come over here and you can check for updates. You could do a factory reset. Unplug all road devices. Connect the device. 131 factory reset. Are you sure? I'm sure. It's going to erase the firmware. As it erases the firmware, it takes a couple of seconds to a minute or two. The device shuts off, shows the USB connection. Wireless Pro, USB connection, resetting, still shows a connection. It's loading software, factory reset complete, version 131, done. You can come here, 131 is up to date. You can run the test over again, repeat nonstop. No matter what you do, the short press doesn't turn it on or a long press turns it on. This unit has a broken Wireless Pro on-off button. In order to open this bad boy up, you're going to have to break this seal over here, which you don't want to do, and lift it up. But that's how you would do the diagnostics. 
for me. Simply slip it in the case, USB connected, and charging. Close up and say thank you very much, Rode Wireless Pro.